Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, how do you check whether the field is editable or not using Selenium? What do I mean by editable or not editable? For that, I'll show you an example. So if I take you to one sample application like omai.blogspot.com, here we have this uh, text area field and it's editable. I can type my name into this, right? Because it is editable. Whereas if I take this read-only text box field and if I try to type my name, my name is not getting typed into this text field because this is non-editable, okay? It's not possible to edit this field. So how to find whether a particular field is in editable mode or non-editable mode in Selenium, okay? For that, we'll be using this command get attribute and pass the attributes for this uh, read only kind of fields, right? Which are not editable. If you inspect, there will be one attribute in the HTML code known as read only attribute, you see? So this HTML code has an attribute known as read only because of which only you are not able to edit this text. If you remove this temporarily, if you remove this and you'll be able to edit the text, okay? Uh, again, if you refresh it, it will lose the capability because it's a temporary change that I have done in the HTML code here. So there is a, the, this is a field uh, which is not edit non-editable because it has a read-only attribute, okay? So to find out or to tell or to check whether a particular field is editable or not editable using Selenium Web Driver with the help of this read-only attribute by checking it, we can do it. So this get attribute read-only command, okay? If you say get attribute read-only for that particular element and if this get attribute returns true, okay? It will return true for the elements, such kind of elements which are in read-only state having this read-only attribute, then Boolean value read-only will be returned. If in case, this, uh, if you say, if you try to find whether this particular field is in editable, it's editable actually. In this case, you will get, get attribute of read-only will return, a, you know, instead of Boolean value, it will return null, okay? In case of that, it will return null, okay? So this is, this is the thing. So then how to write the code and all. Let me practically demonstrate that for you. For that, I'll switch to this Eclipse ID, where we have the sample Selenium automation co code for opening the Chrome browser, for maximizing the browser. And here we need to open the application URL in the browser. Copy this URL and paste it here. And first, uh, okay, uh, what I'll do here is I'll create, uh, I'll inspect this web element which is editable actually. This text area field is editable. You can type text. So it has an ID, copy this ID. And I'll simply say driver dot find element by dot ID, provide the ID locator and create a web element out of it. Okay. Uh, mm, that is nothing but what uh, field, some field I will say, field element, okay, field element. And uh, I'll create a return type for this uh, return type of this find element will get added here to the find element, uh, field element thing, create local variable. You got the return type of this find element uh, came here, okay? So now I need to check whether this particular field is in editable state or not. So how to do that, okay? So I'll simply take the field element and say dot get attribute, okay? Get attribute and I'll just simply pass the attribute name as read only, okay? If that particular field element has this read only attribute, then this get attribute is going to return what? True. Boolean value true. Otherwise, it will return none. Okay. If it's not available, if it's not, uh, uh, if it is editable, then it will return none. Okay. Spring uh, uh, is editable or something. I'll write uh, otherwise uh, editable. Okay. I'll simply write editable status or something. Okay. There are two things here. In one case, it will return a Boolean value. In other case, it will return null. Okay not the same data type. Even though string is mentioned here, a lot of people may get confused that, okay, we have to compare in string and all, but that is not going to happen. So I'll write something like Boolean. Boolean, I'll write some logic here. Just observe this, is editable, uh, I mean, uh, is editable or not, okay? Is editable is equal to, here I'll play a trick. That is, uh, I'll simply say editable status, okay? If it is not equal to null, okay? If it is not equal to null means when it will return null? It will return null when that particular field is editable. Then it will return null. If it is not equal to null means that is read only. 
it's non editable okay and also at the same time if editable status okay status uh, i need to compare that with a boolean value dot equals or uh, what we can say equals uh, if it's equals true okay i'll say true the boolean value okay if editable status dot equals boolean value true okay then also it is a non editable field okay right so i do i do have to put a circular bracket here if any of this condition uh, if, if both these conditions met like if it is not equal to null and at the same time uh, it is returning a boolean value true in that case i have to put a not operator here so that it will return the the uh, it will change if, if this uh, if it is not equal to null if it is true okay and editable status dot equals true is also true true and true will return true and not of true will return false so e is editable will become false that's correct right that's the logic okay if you understand this line everything is done now you write the code like this if e is editable okay if it is a uh, true means what it is a really editable okay the field is editable okay try to understand the 20th line then everything will be clear for you okay so field is editable else write down system dot out dot print ln field is not editable and i'll simply say driver dot quit here driver dot pitch that's it now run the code right click run as in this case uh, this uh, text area field this particular field is in editable state so what happens in this case is a uh, get attribute read only will return null here okay since it returns null editable status not equal to null will become false false and something we is false anyhow not of false is true so e is editable will become true and field is editable yes that's correct right field is editable okay so we should get field is editable printed in the output console and the browser should quit uh, uh, one minute let me close let me run this code again right click run as java application this time since that exterior field is in editable state it will print field is editable in the output console just observe that Yes, field is editable came. Now, in place of this uh, find, uh, field element, I'll give a different one, okay? So I'll change, uh, I'll take this field, uh, which is non-editable. I cannot edit this field, which is a read-only field, which has this read-only attribute available. I'll take the ID of this field and simply replace this ID with this ID, okay? Read-only field ID. In this case, this read-only field dot get attribute read-only, since read only attribute is there, this will return true. Okay. So editable status not equal to null is true now. Editable status dot equals true is also true. Both are true means this will result true. Not of true means false. This Boolean value will be false. If false means else block will be executed where field is not editable will be printed. That's correct, right? This particular field is not editable. It's a read only field. Run this. This is the logic you have to write this. Okay. Just practice this logic. It's kind of tricky, but uh, you know, you may get this kind of question in the interviews sometimes. And uh, a lot of people may get confused, uh, really, you know, um, like um, is enabled, is editable, both are same or not like that. They will be confused. You see? Okay. Again, the field is editable, got printed, but field is non editable. Uh, why it's coming like that? Uh, maybe here I made a mistake. Let me check. Small mistake, guys. I have to provide double quotes here. That's the thing that I was missing. So it will return string, right? String, okay? It will return the string. This is the return type is string. So true is in the should be in the double quotes, okay? So I, again, I'll go back uh, to the text area field to see whether it is working fine or not for the text area field, first of all, because there was small problem in the logic where I didn't uh, cover this, uh, okay? True in double quotes because this is string. So fine, anyhow. Let's change this ID back to the text area field and run this code. And you should print uh, the field is editable because this text area field, which is editable as per the logic. You see, field is editable got printed. Now I'll take the ID of this uh, read only field, which uh, contains read only attribute here. Okay, and uh, I cannot edit this field. That kind of field, it has an ID, copy this ID of this field, and we should get the 
answer as uh, we should get the output as field is not editable. I'll change the ID here. That's it. And run the code. This time we should get field is not editable. Then the logic is correct. Otherwise, the logic is wrong still. Let's say, let's see. And let's hope for proper output this time. Field is not editable should be printed in the output. You see, field is not editable got printed. This is the logic you have to follow, guys. A tricky small logic. This line is very important here. And don't forget to provide uh, double code surrounding this tools true thing. Okay. So it's uh hope you got the answer. Okay. Hope you got the idea how to check whether it is you know editable or not. It's not enabled. They are asking, it's they are asking about editable. Okay, don't get confused in the editable. Okay, so when they ask for editable, you have to do this logic. If they are asking about enabled, means there's a simple command in Selenium that is ease enabled command. Hope you got the idea. So I'm just pasting the code in the notes here. You can check out the notes, okay? For further reference of this code. So that's all for this session. Hope you got the answer for this question. Thank you. Bye-bye.